Prescribed fires actually help increase wildlife diversity in a longleaf pine ecosystem. They promote new plant growth and that new plant growth actually provides a lot of food sources for our wildlife species to eat. It attracts insects, so young turkey poults and other bird species and small mammals. Another great thing about having prescribed burns move through a longleaf pine ecosystem is just after a month uh, after the burn has passed through, we actually start to see native wildflowers come back into bloom and get a lot of native grasses that provide a really good browse feed for a lot of our animals as well as that winter cover. Thin out open areas underneath the trees after a nice prescribed burn moves through provides really easy travel, uh, the ability to see all around in case you're looking for predators or prey. And it also provides a lot of good bedding and denning sites for them to find a home. Some specific animals that have adapted very well to fire uh, in their native habitats include our fox squirrel. In fact, our fox squirrel is our largest daytime squirrel that we actually get to see out here in the longleaf pine ecosystem. And what's absolutely fabulous about this squirrel is that it can come in different colorations. So since it has been so well adapted to fire, we actually will find some fox squirrels that have blackish hair, almost as though they have been through a burn themselves. That helps them camouflage and hide from predators so that they can be successful and, and reproduce and create more fox squirrels for us. Another game animal such as white-tailed deer find this area extremely beneficial for food sources when there's a lot of high competition amongst other species, even in a drought. Bachman sparrow is another species that's uh, declining rapidly due to habitat loss such as loss of longleaf pine ecosystem. And this is a very secretive bird that normally is only found when you hear it calling or singing, but it will actually duck down into a burrow on the ground to escape from predators. So animal sign could be scat, which is animal poop, uh, it could be tracks, so we can look and see about how many toe pads they have, their claws, how big it is compared to your hand. And we can also look for clues in the grasses or the vegetation. There are some endangered species that live here in the longleaf pine ecosystem. The one that's most popularly known is the red cockaded woodpecker. People refer to them as RCWs. Red cockaded woodpeckers is our only woodpecker species that will actually build cavities in live trees. And in order to do this, it takes them about five to 10 years of active drilling into the tree. So in order to help, what we have done is we've started inserting cavities into live trees as a ready-made home. So these artificial nesting boxes will actually fit directly into a hole drilled into the living longleaf pine tree and it blends in seamlessly. They'll fill it in with glue and bark so that it looks just like a natural cavity. The longleaf pine ecosystem is actually a very valuable corridor or transfer site for them to move from one habitat to another safely instead of crossing roads or getting into cities and staying out of suburbs. If you're walking in a, in a pine forest and you want to see something exciting, just make sure that you stay still for a bit and let nature and everything, all the animals around you get used to your presence. 